Hey rock stars and bombshells, there's something really serious that I want to talk to you about today and bring to your attention. I want to talk about the writer Erica Kennedy. She was young, she was beautiful, and she was extremely talented. She was the author of the best-selling novels Bling and Feminista. She attended Sarah Lawrence, as did I, but I didn't meet her there. I met her years later when I was promoting my debut novel, Dare, and we were at a reading series of a mutual friend, Rachel Kramer Bustle. Erica got up and read, and she was hilarious. She was a bright spark, and she lit up the entire room. Afterward, I spoke to her about honoring her at Abiola's Kiss and Tell Live in Manhattan, a monthly reading series that I was hosting at the time. And Erica said, well, didn't you see how, what a terrible job I did at that other series? And she was completely oblivious and unaware of the fact of how talented and funny and amusing she was. And I told her that and told her that when we met at that event that I was in fact starstruck at being in her presence. But she just couldn't see it. Like so many talented women, she didn't know the light that she was. She's no longer on this planet with us, and I'm sorry that I didn't get a chance to honor her in that series, but I feel as though I can honor her memory and honor you by talking about depression, suicide, and mental illness, particularly in the African-American community and communities of color, but across the board. Women and mental illness has been a cause that I've advocated for for some time. A few years ago, I directed an award-winning documentary named Knives in My Throat. You can find it at aviolatv.com or just by Googling it. I followed a year in the life of a young, beautiful, and gifted writer, another woman, black woman, who was dealing with these issues. Um, on top of bipolar disorder and family of origin issues. She was also suicidal and felt like she was alone. I want to just talk to you and just let you know that you are not alone. If you are depressed, if you are sad, if you are going through something, talk to someone. If you feel like you can't talk to the people in your life or you've talked their ears off, get help. Most churches or cultural centers will point you in the direction or have some sort of support group or some kind of counselor. Um, you can Google, there are all kinds of helplines. You can get in touch with me through abiolatv.com and I can point you in the right direction of some places where you can get help. It's important to know that you are not alone because the myth of the strong black woman is killing us, literally, because you feel like you have to live up to this ideal and society tells you that you're already angry or crazy, so who wants to be the angry or crazy black woman? No, the strong black woman is a myth. Yes, we are strong at times, but no, there's not just one way to react. F basketball wives in these shows that we watch. It's not that when you're sad or depressed that you just fly off the handle and you're angry and you're whatever, and it's okay to have that kind of madness going on in your life. Whatever you are dealing with, you are not alone. Know that. And we need you here on this planet. You were brought here for a purpose. And until your creator decides to take you home, that purpose is not fulfilled. Okay? So I would love, love, love for you to leave me comments. Leave me stories of your own struggles or people that you know that have dealt with anything from anxiety to bipolar disorder to mental illness. I'll be making another video um, at another point to talk to you about, you know, the, the struggles that I faced with body image and food. Um, it's important that we have these conversations, okay? So I'm going to share with you a suicide hotline, okay? This is really, really important. If you feel like you don't have anywhere to turn, please call 1-800-273- 8255. Okay, that number is here on the screen. Again, it's 1 800 273 8255. All right, leave me a thumbs up if you are in it for your mental health. All right, no one has told you today I love you deeply and completely. All right, my friends.